Hey everybody, welcome to Indie Games Level Up. I'm your host, Phil Lubensky. This episode is coming to you from MIGS, the Montreal International Game Summit. So next to me is Valentine de Certain from Illogica. Tell us a bit about who you are and talk to us about Illogica. So I'm Valentine. I do communications at Illogica and our studio Illogica is a small 25 person indie studio in Montreal and we're working on both work for hire games and our own independent creations as well. We used to be mainly a programming uh, company but now we have a lot of artists and designers so it made kind of Siberia come to life way more by doing that. So Siberia is an action puzzler where players have to pit their enemies against one another. It happens in an underwater city and they have to essentially escape by running through these rooms and trying to defeat your enemies and then moving through procedurally generated labyrinths. It was really finding kind of ordinary people in extreme circumstances and being like, okay, like if I get into trouble like this, I'm not going to become a superhero who can shoot up everyone and just like run away. I'm going to have to find ways of like circumventing the enemies and getting away and making them murder each other instead of me doing the heavy lifting. What really inspired us is that we're all huge fans of Binding of Isaac, so we really wanted to make a rogue-like, and we're also we were interested in that different angle of like indirect combat because rogue likes as much like come in, shoot up everyone, move out. As a player, you don't have any attack abilities. You have to really run around, try to use your enemies, use your environment to destroy them. So in Siberia, you control two different people. So you have your player, who you control pretty much directly, and a little drone hovering behind you that you control independently from the player. So that fits into the indirect combat. With your drone, you can influence the behaviors of your enemies, so make them go insane, control them for a little while. So that's really the key, is finding that balance between the drone, the player, and trying to kind of like get all your enemies to run into each other. Since there were no roguelikes merging story, we thought it might be a new genre to explore that could be interesting. And like there's potential in like the replaying of the game and like going through different paths. It was an opportunity to do a branching storyline, different choices, so players could just like replay the game, get a fresh experience because of the procedural generation, but also a fresh experience on the story side by choosing different paths. This episode is sponsored by the Canada Media Fund. Since 2010, they've invested over $50 million in Canadian indie game studios. Indie Games Level Up is produced by Handmade. Handmade creates video game trailers, commercials, and this web series. This episode is sponsored by the Montreal International Game Summit. Get to the next level with MIGS.